What's up guys, Chris and Closet Weave here and we're back on my Closet Talk episode 9 of the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. So last episode we had that holiday, uh, I think it's called Tanabata with the uh, bamboo and like writing your wishes and then tying it to the bamboo uh, tree. So then Haruhi wanted everyone in the club to write their wishes, tie it on there. But during the meeting she started to look very melancholy and uh, she, she left the meeting early. And then Mikuru asked Kion to go with him and took him time traveling. I think it was three years in the past. And then he had to help a younger Haruhi who was in middle school, I believe. And then she wanted him to write like those alien, the alien lettering uh, on the field with the chalk. And uh, while they were in, in the past, they went to Yuki who looked exactly the same. She said she was stationed at those apartments there to just wait there for three years until um, Haruhi made her way to high school. And then she put Mikuru and Kion in that room, made time, skipped three years, or froze the room still in time. And then three years passed while they were in that room. And then it was getting real messy at the end. I think they were trying to explain the whole time traveling and the different timelines, how they're connected. I was like Kion there, just super confused. I'm not even gonna lie, I, I don't know what's going on <laughs> and how all that stuff is tied together. It's real messy, like I said, but I'm hoping it gets uh, explained a little bit easier for me or you guys can help me out. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens next. Let's jump into episode nine of the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, Mysterik. Sign. During the final exams, Haruhi, who suffered about a melancholy during the Star Festival, had recovered from the aforementioned melancholy enough to go back to doing whatever she wanted to do. <laughs> However, as an adverse reaction to her emotional improvement, the blue-colored baton of depression had been handed off to me. Oh, now he's Haruhi feeling, he's feeling the depression. Exam, and today was no exception. According to Haruhi, there is no such thing as a break for the SOS Brigade. Even during exam time, when all the other clubs were <laughs> still got meetings, club meetings, this mysterious brigade, which wasn't really even a club, was open every day without a holiday. Kind of like a convenience store. Hey, come take a look at this. What is it? A maze? Can you tell what it is? I have no idea. I don't get it at all. It's the logo for the SOS brigade. No. Logo. Okay. We well, yeah, we're branding out here. We'll take a closer look at it. I see the I see the SOS. We need more traffic. It's all because you got in my way. We've had a ton of hits if you let me post these erotic pics of Miku. Oh, Lord. So I got to thinking. I should paste a cool logo or symbol for the SOS Brigade on the homepage. Okay, Kion. Your job for today is to make this logo show up on the homepage of the website. <laughs> Just giving him the job. I'm the Brigade Leader. It's the job of the Brigade Leader to give the orders. Besides, if I did everything, there'd be nothing left for you guys to do. Isn't that right? And I pasted it, still reluctantly, into the file and uploaded it. Very tech savvy over here, Kion. We get to have our exam break. It's also the time when my teachers mark my answers wrong. Look at this. Something weird's happening here. Hmm? Maybe it's just the computer acting up. They're getting some people visiting their the site. Brigade's logo Whoa. is warped, as if somebody used a gathering filter on it. On top of that, the counter and title of Someone's it hacking. was subtle, but it was different from the page I made. Weird. Wait, I know. It's hackers or crackers or whatever. <laughs> hackers or crackers. It's probably just an error. It's so irritating. I it's Yuki. Would make a cyber you do something, Yuki. The SOS Brigade. No, when I find out who's doing this, I'll make them do 30 days of or, service. Or no some trial. bad people from Yuki's okay. people. <laughs> yeah, has Haruhi asked Yuki no, or right. Itsuki to do anything <laughs> in the club? Oh, you brought a new member? I sort of brought a visitor with me. Oh. Unbelievable. An another time traveler? Someone come to us for counseling, but someone has, and there she is. Oh. Her name is Emery Kimidori, a junior who seemed very quiet and pure. 
So let me get this straight. <laughs> you want us, the SOS Brigade, to go and search for your missing boyfriend? Yes. We got missing people. <laughs> A while ago, I remember hearing they lived and worked overseas, but I don't have any of their contact Is this another, like I said, artificial intelligence? No, I believe they live somewhere in Honduras. Oh, oh yes, Honduras, indeed. Well, what's with this indeed stuff? I doubt she even knows where Honduras is. So why'd you come to us? My boyfriend used to talk about the SOS Brigade. That's why I'm here. Oh, he, she, the, this boyfriend surely is one of these extraterrestrials. To tell you the truth, he's the president of the computer club. Huh? The guy Haruhi took pictures of the guy Haruhi The scandal. So she could take his top of the line computer. The poor guy who was forced to hook the computer up with tears in his eyes. I totally forgot about it. Oh. Okay, I got it. That Don't dude, worry, we'll do something he's the one hacking the website. Alright, today's your lucky day. Since you're the SOS Brigade's first client, I'll solve the case of your missing boyfriend for free. We'll just stroll into his house, grab him, slap him around a little, and <laughs> drag him out of there. Slap him around. If she needed help, why didn't she go to a teacher or the police? That's what I'm saying. She did, but they didn't take her seriously. I bet you mm -hmm. she can solve those too. <laughs> the we first, the first case. Like we did last time. Oh, <laughs> no more bunny suits, please. The president of the computer club lived in a one-room condo. The building wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. It was your typical three and a half story deal. Nothing special. <laughs> are we, are we, are we about to see a dead high school body? <laughs> nope. <laughs> she just unlocked it. With eyes like liquid helium, she stared back at me. Wow, it opened. Be kidding. <laughs> I didn't realize it was open. Surprise, Whatever. surprise. Guess we might as well go in. Well, that's strange. I totally thought we'd find him in this a corner. This dude is just gone. Joan, do you know where someone with a case of the May melancholies in July might scurry off to? We should leave now. Uh-oh. the first time she's spoken today. Miss Nagato's right, we need to go. Don't sound so serious. Don't breathe on me. You're too close and you're freaking me out. Get, it's about to get crazy. I'm feeling a little strange in here. It's a sensation I'm all too familiar with, so we should get going. It expired three days ago, but I'm sure they're still good. Come on, let's see. Mm. Oh, be good. Uh, We're just eating people's food from their fridge, Haruhi. Okay, looks like it'd be best if we all got the hell out of here. Hmm? Those two seem to think there's something fishy with that room. Isn't that right? Yes. I'm sure we'll find out once we get back inside. Jeez. What are they about to find? Do you think the disappearance of the computer club president is related to this space? Yes. <gasps> oh, Lord. Here we go. We in the desert now. <laughs> I enjoyed the feeling of Miku clutching my arm because I was trying really hard to figure out where I was. Insignificant levels. She only triggered the situation. I see, so that's what happened. Can Miss Asahin and I join this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you, Kion. The computer club is somewhere in here? It seems that way. Huh? This alternate space created itself in his room. He's in this alternate dimension. In. There it is. Oh, what is that? <laughs> what is I it? I feel its animosity. Those two have ways of defending themselves. But Miss Asahina and I don't even stand a chance. <laughs> That's a computer president. <laughs> he has all that, that animosity towards Haruhi. Do you guys know what camel crickets look like? For those of you who don't, I'd like to show you what I'm looking at right now. Jeez. What is this? Looks like I can still access my powers in here. Alright, Itsuki, let's... Itsuki, Yuki! Uh, let's take this thing down. Yeah, that... that. Camel cricket is a manifestation of the thing the president fears the most. Oh. If we defeat it, we can shut down this alternate space. Oh, okay. No mistakes. Then this should be relatively easy. So that's one of his fears? I'm so gonna lose it. Roger that. Oh, volleyball! Spike! That thing fighting back! Pausing in the full seconds between display. 
<laughs> a random beetle scarab has tended to its wounds. We got a medic. I guess it didn't work. It's angrier. Oh. No, never mind. Never mind. They got it. They got it. Looks like he's still alive. I suddenly found myself standing in that one room condo again. They brought him back. Then, an explosion of unmeasured amounts of data from a parallel world caused it to fully wake. That explosion of data from a parallel world turned out to be the SOS Brigade logo. That what? Was. That was the trigger. No way! That thing isn't more than 100 kilobytes! The symbol she happens to draw... What the heck, Haruhi? Only Miss Suzumiya could do that. Koizumi says it's all because Haruhi wished it, but I don't believe that. Now he's just going through his own theories. <laughs> and if it's really true that everything Haruhi does is significant in some way, why did you choose me to become a member of the SOS Brigade? No, nah, man. Like I, like I said previously, the hell am I, anyway? you're the love interest. <laughs> I know. I'm the conscience of the SOS Brigade. For a while now, this room has been in an alternate dimension. Elements and force fields collide with one another here, canceling each other out and creating a sort of saturation. But there's no room left for anything else to blend in. Well, this so is the... while I wasn't looking, this room was turned into an ominous den of weirdness. Yeah, this is a no, safe I zone. I think it's harmless. <laughs> Probably. There's almost 30,000 hits on this thing. Now people on the website. The computer club guy came back today. Oh really? It was either a case of the main melancholies or an argument with his girlfriend. Hey, isn't it amazing though? Our website's gotten 30,000 hits! Could it be that she's the one who destroyed the data? And the girl who came to us, Miss Kimidori. I asked the computer club chief, and he said he doesn't have a girlfriend. What? She's always been in the middle of this elaborate scenario, hasn't she? Maybe it was all his setup. This was her way of getting rid of Haruhi's boredom for a little while. I wonder if she's been doing this the whole time. Keeping the weirder things at bay and not saying anything to anyone. Quietly, from the shadows. She's keeping secrets. Or maybe, getting involved with this case was something that Nagato wished for. An android made by aliens, living in an empty room for years on end. Nagato, is it possible that you get that way too? I wonder. Do you feel lonely when you're alone? The mystery continues. Who is behind all of this? These weird situations going on. All right, so Haruhi, obviously bored again. It's finals. It's final season, and they have a bunch of tests to go on or go do. And she was just worried about the SOS Brigade getting popular, the website getting more hits. And she created a logo, and then that logo somehow got hacked or something, and then it changed, and um, Mikuru ran into someone that came into the SOS Brigade saying her boyfriend went missing and gave the, the club something to uh, investigate. Went over to the, it was a computer club president, and the, the club went over to his apartment, he wasn't there, but Yuki and Itsuki felt something off in the room. And then the club came back there without Haruhi to examine the room some more. And they went into that other dimension. And there was a big old cricket in that dimension. And uh, Yuki and Itsuki said that was a manifestation of uh, uh, animosity that the club president had. So then they had, they had to take that thing down. Saved the club, the computer president. Did that crazy fight once again. We we saw Itsuki with his S for abilities. Yuki making her barrier, taking down the cricket. Saved that president, and then uh, opened up the computer. And there, Yuki Itsuki were trying to explain the whole uh, data stuff with that SOS brigade uh, logo they created. How. That caused a bunch of the problems, and then at the end there, Kion was just uh, thinking to himself, maybe Yuki might be behind all of this because the computer president said he didn't even have a girlfriend, so who sent that girl over there? 
Is he, does Yuki feel any type of, of emotions like similar to uh, like Haruhi? And if she ever felt lonely being left in that room all those years just waiting for uh, her time to get to get to work. It's crazy still. We still got a lot of questions. Kion thinking deep here. So can't wait to see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.